just wasn't prepared for it um, by no way, shape or form. I think the lucky thing for me, I was 22, 23, so I had a bit of time on my side to really figure things out. I didn't have a, a wife and kids or a house. You know, I was still in a, I still had that independence to, to kind of figure stuff out and make a lot of mistakes and um, find my feet. And um, probably wasn't <laughs> really only till like four or five weeks ago did I actually realise that, you know, all the success I had in soccer and sport was actually um, defined by me as a, as a human being. Like, you know, the, the, the skill sets I had, the disciplines, the mindset was actually translatable into anything else in life. It's just soccer was the vehicle that was kind of showing it to people or showing it to myself. And it took me, took me three or four years to really go from like identity loss to like, you know, have, um, wouldn't say depression, but some really dark times where I was just like, you know, I'm seeing my mates playing for the Socceroos, playing in English Premier League, playing in Spain, playing in Asia, making, you know, big bucks and living out my dream. Um, which I obviously was super happy for them. But just, yeah, had had a lot of challenges with that. So um, it kind of tied into why I brought about the podcast because, um, you know, the whole concept of the Unlaced podcast for me was humanising the athlete and, and how balance in life for an athlete can sometimes translate into, you know, better performances on the field, but also is going to set you up for, a, you know, a longer part of your life. Because as you know, uh, Chris and Craig and Leon, the uh, the average life of an athlete, even you know, if, if it's a ten-year career, it's it's only a small percentage of your lifetime. So you're going to have to be good in other areas, um, you know, to to be successful over long term. 